I see they be now, they say this, the kind of way they happen for emo state. I say no be small thing, this thing I don't talk I'm the other day. Uh, but as with the work out, they go so now so more videos been the match concerning the kind of invasion when the Nigerian army they carry out inside Imo State. Um, according to the people where they drop the information, family writers they say a genocide against the people of Omoaka and its environs. No be small thing, a lot of buildings, life and um, properties were lost. Um, including livestock um, and everything with the full and so they say the Nigerian army descended on the people of Omoaka uh, because they were suspecting that uh, some unknown government were living in that area and uh, when they tried to engage them they say they gave them a lot of bus boost and uh, so the army go reinforce say no we cannot accept defeat come take the anger and the frustration on innocent people no be small matter I could play on a lot of videos when we don't obtain concerning this kind of invasion. And that brings me back for the people where we say their duty not to come here come they threaten me. They tell me say they will buy me if I enter Southeast. So where were these people when the army came? Somebody is somewhere manipulating all of you to be doing rubbish or maybe not the person himself. Now even come my comment section with a different channel come the right rubbish the right all those junks who wanna take the threaten. I want to make it clear to all of us. See, nobody has that monopoly of violence. Nobody will say be Superman. No matter the juju when you carry come this life or we go acquire, you will still die. The juju will still go your own way. So now so it be. And nobody will go talk say, oh, I no go die again, no, he never did. So when you are threatening another person, just know say you too, you still have your own life somewhere. Eh, don't think that oh no leave me i don't na me be god no you are not you are not so this is a very important message because i know they like to come the you know focus on all these matters or come they do saga because what these people are looking for is how i will come out and be mentioning their names and be calling them and they, they think now because i don't go look comment even the new video when i do now i can see and see they say oh eh, before i like you now, before you like me, because I was talking about this thing in another way. Now, when I see criminality, see terrorism, see banditry inside, now that you say I know they inside that, all those kind of uh, attitude. Now, nah, come on. It's not that as if I they talk about you. I'm not with you. I'm not talking about you. Anything where you like, they do. But now, now still, they follow me up and down. So what kind of stupid people are these ones? That is to show you that these are illiterate criminals everywhere. I don't even know how to quantify them. It's very, very annoying. Look at what is happening. You're not going to see them there. But you have the infantry to come to my comment section to be writing rubbish, to be threatening me. From today, eh, you up, you no go see better. Better things will depart from you and your family. Anybody will be saying, all of the way they report my videos and they, they, they threaten me. On a no go see better for my life because I never ever threaten on a one day. Very anyhow, people will fool everywhere. See waiting on me, they do up and down. You know, go go confront them. Rubbish. My show, and I'm just very, very angry. My brother with him, my far, but for no reason. Somebody they write me for comment section say uh, they they empire my inside house we we are in deep we the empire on a Sunday the person way bath finish they they go in home they go in home waka your job will never depart from on a family a Nigerian army troops invade Imo community reportedly gun down civilians destroy property. Now waiting day for here. So now don't see him now. This is happening in Imo State. So we'll go, go into details because I don't use ordinary mouth. They talk and before. Now Sahara reporters don't go do investigation to find out, see, this thing, it was really happened for inside Imo State. So Governor Hope Oza Demma, this is happening under your watch. Since you came to power, a lot has been going wrong in Imo State. Why not try and fix it? Eh? Why not stop this invasion? And all those people who too, where they go drag fight, come. If on a drag fight come, on a go discharge. Innocent people go come collect them. That is not how to fight. 
That's why I always have problems with people. The reason why, if you know, say you day here, make sure say you day here, not be say you go make mouth, make mouth, make mouth. You know how Nigeria operates. It's not as if you're a novice. You go make mouth, make mouth. We have this, we have that. When the army come, we no go see the people we say they get this, they get that. They will disappear. The army will now descend on innocent people, and the innocent people will come collect the water, water. Is that, is that the kind of uh, life we want to continue to live in the East? If a non government kill our own brothers, army go still come, come by our own brothers. What is going on? Is this the kind of freedom that we are talking about? That we are saying, oh, we are agitating for freedom. As I they talk this thing now, people will come to the comments and say, oh, you are not talking well. So we should condone evil. Because the evil is an internal evil. So we should come and say, ah, hey, na good evil. If we get good one, Abba, when they tell on ourselves the truth. Now, a, a, severe, mm -mm, a severe Nigerian army operation in a one mama community, Imo State, has left some residents reportedly killed and others injured. The footage of the incident seen by Sahara reporters showed soldiers arriving in five heavily armored vehicles employing explosive devices on residential homes. Eyewitnesses reported that at least 13 people, 13 civilians including men, women and children were killed in the attack. Many others sustained injuries or were forced to flee. Properties worth billions of naira were also destroyed during this invasion. Meanwhile, the Nigerian army have said its troops of the Joint Task Force Southeast Operation Udoka, in collaboration with other sister security agencies, raided and cleared in an indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and its armed affiliate, the Eastern Security Network, ESN camps, on July 20th, 2024, as part of ongoing operations to data their activities in the region. The raid took place in Eziohia Eziama village in Mbitolu local government area of Imo state. Now, joint troops from the Nigerian Army, Navy, Air Force, Police, Department of State Services, which is DSS, and the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps targeted the ESN camps of notorious commander Lucio Ago, also known as B-44. Hmm. According to the statement, during the firefight, troops neutralized two IPOB stroke ESN commanders known as Asari and the Mazi, while others fled with different degrees of gunshot wounds. Two youth. Don't go down now. Recovered items include two AK-47 rifles with three magazines, one or two hundred and two rounds of 7.62 MM special ammunition, CCTV cameras, and assorted charms. In a simultaneous operation, troops of Sector 3 de destroyed another IPOB stroke ESN camp in a Zara forest between Omoawa and the Akos settlements, spanning Okiwe and the Moonloch local government areas of Imo State and Abia states. Due to superior firepower, the irred Irredentists fled into the nearby bushes with gunshot wounds, leaving behind a general purpose machine gun, assorted ammunition, four motorcycles, and four radios. <clears throat> the Joint Task Force Southeast Operation Udoka appealed to the Now they say that the Joint Task Force Southeast Operation Udoka appealed to the public for cooperation. We call on the good people of the Southeast to continue to provide credible and the timely information that will help to annihilate the criminals in the region. Citizens can report irrelevant uh, relevant information by dialing star 193 star and pressing. The task force reiterated its commitment to safeguarding lives and property, stating Operation Udoka will continue to carry out its constitutional rules in line with the global best practices as laid down in the rules of engagement guarding its operations i say wow <laughs> but the the reverse is the case based on the report that um the um uh, Igbo people 
or the people of these communities are given. All right. So make a show now the videos of what they brought to limelight. Here they say that the Nigerian army was moving in and destroying everything in sight. Mm, uh, look at you, Tanya, you start home. Look at my village, you know they serve again. Can <laughs> look at you when you back and down? You bring you bring you back and down. You bring 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 you Look at Jesus Christ. Where is she getting gun at this? Look at Like a down. Oh, yeah, you know. Like a candle, you can't distance it, but they say, they did, they did, they did, they did, they did, they all right, um, I believe so. And I don't see the short video there. And uh, they said, the Ibla said this one now uh, bomb within through we uh, by the Nigerian Air Force. Now, then throw this one. Uh, we go meet this house owner. Uh, so we take this here. Make one see more videos of this very attack. Oh, so now they see my brothers there we are in the wrong enter inside bush because of the attacks from the nigerian air force no be smart in i can't do one that here this house now with them bomb now she not there uh the people within the pursuit they <laughs> now why would the thing self they shock me make on see so these are the some of the things where they don't pick I'm so these are some of the things they picked up um concerning this matter see they be so oh boy the who so those are the Nigerian army while they were coming uh, to the village. You get one video when I know see uh, that was uh, while they were coming in. Okay, now in the test show that video. Now listen to some of the problems we are facing in the country. He's talking about is the two third of senators city present there are few instances like the amendment of the constitution and some parts requires to third that means the senators before voting will be informed that they will be vote on a certain matter and they need to be present so that the two third will be achieved but any decision that comes up like this during the sitting of the senate the two third means those that are here. Thank you. Mr. Uh, yes. Vote is required. It is two thirds of the Senate, uh, of the senators seated. But have we taken consideration of how many senators are seated and how many uh, people have agreed that we say we are two thirds? And apart from that, sir, this point is very necessary because since we started this Senate, you said it's a corrective Senate. We have been ambushed all the time that bills are very sensitive bills are brought and are expected to be passed with the speed of light, which is not good for this country. Every senator here is supposed to be adequately informed. He does his research, he comes to the floor and makes a positive contribution. 
But in a situation where even money bills are brought and we are expected to pass it within two hours, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't go well for this country. Sir, you are on seat today. History is going to judge you that things like this are not good for this country. Thank you very much, sir. This is what you pass. It's good for the country. History will just be right. If what you are passing with the speed of light is in the interest of Nigerians, history will just be right. I don't think we will come here to pass a bill that will not be in the interest of the Nigeria. So your point of order is noted. Yes. All right. I believe so, and I don't see that one. The way we they take the pass bill now. <laughs> They say they know they scrutinize them again. You know, say if they just carry enter there, pyam. They, they don't pass them, pyam. We don't run them, bam. They know they, they know they wait for anybody again. You no, know, there is no time again to waste time. This one when uh, we will hear from Reno Mockery. <laughs> hey, wala wala did this country. Well, then what you have to understand is this. If you listen to Daily Mahadu and Peter Obi, they did not give data. They, did, they just gave assumptions. Now, you're giving some data, but that data is actually, and I'm going to come back to it, but Daily Mahadu and Peter Obi, they didn't give data. And as Deming said, in God we trust, all others must produce data. If you look at, first and foremost, Daily Mahadu is somebody that I like a lot. He's a friend of mine. But his background, he read Yoruba at the University of Ife. Now, with all due respect, I respect you, my people. My ancestors came from Iwe by way of Iwe, which is now called Wari. So I'm not going to denigrate Yoruba culture, but I'm not sure that a person who read Yoruba and who has never worked in an economic capacity in any way, shape, or form is, you know, life has been about an who and playing magazine, ovation. I'm not sure that is the right person to be pontificating. Daily Mamodo is a renowned then, journalist. I mean, uh, for. Or decades, you don't think he has capacity to gather data and understand the issues as capacity they are? From, capacity from what? Because that's the thing. If you're talking about capacity from where? You, he read Yoruba, he's never run, you know, he's never worked in an economic capacity, he's run an O and magazine. What capacity is that? I mean, are you telling me that, for instance, now, if I was a DJ for 20 years, I can have capacity to pontificate about the economy? No, I'm not sure. So, if you're talking about the economy, if you look at, okay, right now, according to the International Monetary Fund, which was just five days ago, I'm sure you saw it in the headlines, Nigeria's economy is now growing at 3.1%. Our GDP is going at 3.1%. So, when Daily Mamadi says that our economy has collapsed, obviously, the facts do not bear up what he's saying. We just had a quarter whereby we had a trade surplus of $6.52 trillion. How can you say that Nigeria's economy has collapsed? With a surplus of 6.53 trillion. Like I told you, I gave you historical data, which is what this administration was trying to do with the economic reforms, and which is what we in the PDP also said we are going to do. We had a problem with Muhammad Ibrahim because ideologically we were very different from him. But with this man in power, Bola Tenugu, if you look at his ideology and our ideology in the People's Democratic Party, it's almost identical. We said we we're going to do four things that we were going to remove false subsidy. We're going to have devolution of powers. We're going to have a single exchange rate regime, and we're going to put student loans. All of these four things the man has done them. He's removed all subsidy. We now have a single exchange rate, and then he has student loan. And then with the Supreme Court's judgments, with saying that local government should have autonomy, we're now seeing that we're having devolution of powers. So it's going back to what I told you. Unless we start producing in Nigeria, our economy is not going to grow to the extent that we want it to grow. Yeah, and that is what talking, talking, what talking is. about production, Mister. Unless we start producing, people where they produce, where where on and keep them. No, be so damn good they cry like small picking. No, be so damn good they cry now. Nah, say ah, the the country don't choke them. Say this country, they know they no give them space. Make it, make it succeed. Don't be so now they punish the man. I bet we'll go another news. In case you want to send money, don't forget to use this tap tap send. Take send and go Nigeria on a better app where they go give you bonus if you use my promo code. So if you want to send money today, even if you they use another app because of the free money where they give on first transaction, use them first. Use my promo code when you get that money. Then we move. You get the point now? Uh -huh.